Hey guys, Thunder E here. It's been a while since we've done a review of a laptop and one that I've been using for quite a bit of time is the Samsung Galaxy Book S. Now the Book S is powered by a Snapdragon processor and one you're probably thinking, hey, does, do I need something like that, especially now that I'm working from home? Well, this might be a good time to take a look at what it brings to the table. So the Galaxy Book S is a 13.3 inch laptop powered by Snapdragon processor. Yes, the same processors you will find in the Galaxy um, uh, S line. Not the exact same, but a different line, but still similar architecture, the 8CX. Now, what you have here is the ability to go anywhere and have connectivity while on the go, because this allows you to, of course, use the same LTE modem technology that you know uh, Qualcomm uses with your mobile processors in your laptop. So you've got LTE connectivity and I have a SIM card here. Now, what this laptop gives you is the ability to go anywhere and work. Now you're thinking, hey, look, we're at home. How does that benefit me and what does that bring to the table? Well, I think it does a lot for the working environment. Um, you've got something that gives you 25 hours of black battery life, first of all, and that is actually true. Uh, go check out my buddy, um, uh, the Unlockers uh, walkthrough video, and he would basically give you some breakdowns on battery life there, but battery life is truly phenomenal on this thing. It's easy to actually spend time working. So if you're like me and you have some space where you can work within your apartment, or in my case, I can go up to my roof and be outdoors, I don't have to be close to my Wi-Fi connection, uh, which is pretty good. Now, if you work for a company and you're working remotely, having that secure connection over LTE is something they would prefer over your home Wi-Fi because at least it's something that they can actually monitor and they know what's going on. So for your, your work environment, that makes a lot of sense. Now, some of you say, hey, wait, look, Thunder E, the ATX is running uh, Windows on ARM and not everything works. And that's one of the biggest fears about devices like this. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is not actually true. Uh, first things first is the new Edge browser on here is truly amazing. It makes for accessing the web and a lot of things you want to do really well. So for instance, uh, the ability to install applications on your device or create applications of different sites you go to. So I have a YouTube app, I have a Pinterest app. Yes, there's no official Pinterest or Win uh, app for Windows. Uh, I've got a, a Twitter app as well, and I can use them side by side, snap those features together, and that's pretty cool. Now the next thing is also Samsung's connectivity to this device. It's something I like and I, I wish they would improve at the same time. It's great that when you go into the device, you've got access to your Samsung applications. So things like my uh, S Notes, my gallery, uh, Dex as well, and I can use those features with my device. I take a lot of notes on my Galaxy Note. Uh, once it's synced in uh, through Samsung Cloud, yep, I have it right here on my device which is great and that is really nice to see. But what I would like to see from Samsung in the future is when you're setting up the device, uh, I should be able to sign into my Samsung account directly at my setup process. It makes it easy for me to have all these features uh, flow through from my smartphone. In terms of bloatware, there's really not much in here, just a standard Windows app. There is of course the Office Suite as well, which you have full access to use. Now. You guys know I do a lot of gaming on my channel and I like to game and you're thinking, okay, yes, you mentioned it gives me 25 hour battery life. Yes, um, I've got LTE connection, but with this kind of hardware, what kind of games can I play? And yes, on the, on the Windows uh, side of ARM, there are really not a lot of games to play, but you can stream a lot of games onto the system. So for instance, in this case, I decided to play some Stadia, and I'm playing Stadia off the LTE uh, card, and it works really, really well. That's, that's just something, again, that adds to the acumen of this. You know, uh, In terms of hardware, which I haven't spoken much about the hardware, just kind of talked about just the use case scenarios. You've got a keyboard with uh, um, uh, backlit keys, not as bright as I would like, but it's still good. Uh, of course, the touchpad is really smooth. You've got a touchscreen, 10 finger touchscreen, and you've got two USB type C ports with a headphone jack, uh, which is great. Uh, those ports, of course, allow you to connect, of course, things 
things like that. The controller, which I was using Play Stadia, or in this case, since you're trying to do more work, uh, the Crucial X8. This is a portable hard drive I've been using and something I like really well because it gives me some really fast speeds, reading right about 1,050 megabits per second, able to transfer maybe some videos I'm editing or photos uh, from here to the file and maybe to my desktop or something else, uh, making it an easier process for me to transfer heavy workloads from one environment to another. Um, I think there is a case for what is going on here with the uh, Galaxy Book S. Now, in terms of hardware, I think Samsung has done a phenomenal job with the way the hardware looks, feels, and functions. It is absolutely a beautiful device uh, to look at and a beautiful device to use. Now, when it comes uh, to the software implementation, I would like to see more. I edit photos, I edit video, and granted, this is not a device, and I repeat, not a device that is meant to do video editing. Absolutely out of the way. Uh, but photo editing, I would love to see something either from Samsung or even from Microsoft as well that allows for more casual, fun, and easy photo editing from your app. Uh, Link to Windows is a great feature to transfer files and also answer text messages on your device. But I would just like to see more. Again, to me, this is a really great device to use at home to work because you can take it with you uh, anywhere within your home and it gives you a lot of full functionality uh, and you can still be at work without actually being uh, using your home connection. So there you have it, guys. That is my review of the Galaxy Book S. Yes, it is a device that gives you a lot of performance in terms of battery life. Uh, it gives you awesome connectivity. It turns on as soon as you open it up. It also has a cool fingerprint sensor underneath the power button for Windows Hello. Uh, and again, I can actually stream and play my games on here over LTE. I think that's truly awesome. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you're thinking of a device like this, uh, do you think it will fit into your work environment or just your day-to-day uh, -day use? Uh, leave your thoughts down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.